Hey, I'm Ale. Today we'll be revising rounding whole numbers and decimals. To keep it simple, just remember five letter rise, four or less letter rest. Super simple, right? If your number ends in a five or more, you'll round up. If your number ends in a four or less, you will round down. This rule applies to both whole numbers and decimals and the place value to be rounded. Take the whole number 718 and round to the nearest 10. The last digit ends in an eight, so we know we have to round it up. However, we need to know that the eights in the ones place will round out the one and the tens. If we have a number like 695, for example, we will start with the ones place. Round up the 10, which will round up the hundreds. In this case, the five will round up the 90, and 695 will round up the 700. Let's put this into practice with decimals. If we want to round up 6.32 to one decimal place, which means one digit after the decimal point, we would either round it down to its lower value, 6.3, or round it up to the upper value, 6.4. Depending on the value of the second digit after the decimal point, to do this effectively, let's use the number line. Applying the method that we have learned, you see that two is less than five. Therefore, it will round down to the lower number, 6.3. For two or three decimal places, apply the same method and remember to look at each place value. More than five, let it rise. Four or less, let it rest. Try pausing and have a go at these questions. How did you do? If you're gonna take a step back, check out our video on decimals and place value. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and check out more of our videos.